Hello everyone, welcome back to Whoop Turn Red. Today I've got weak hero, let's get straight into it. Yan Xie En, or Grey Leon in the translation, I, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking with that name, but you know, let's get into it. Uh, he is this guy, he's a boy that looks more pretty than brawny, kinda thin, kinda scrawny, you know. He's not the kind of guy that you would expect to be a brutal fighter. However, he goes to this school, this high school, that's famous for being full of delinquents and pretty much bullies and gangsters and every kind of violence. And these bullies have pretty much taken over the entire area. And however, he comes in and he changes everything. He shows that strength is not the only thing that matters in a fight. Let's take a look at episode 1. A classroom where this bully is pretty much taking care of the entire place. Dividing people into slaves, commoners, noblemen, and kings. And this kid, just because he's a little bit stronger, just because he has a little bit more muscle, he's taking over the entire class, and he's bullying this entire place. And he sees our main character, Grey. And he looks pretty, and his name is kind of feminine, so he wants to fuck with him. So he goes over there and grabs him. And here we see that our dear Grey isn't someone to mess with. You really don't get it, do you? If you dare make a scene in my classroom ever again, I'll gouge your eyes out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's our lovely main character. Basically, he's more of a strategist. He first punches him so that he, he won't be able to retaliate, grabs the back strap, pulls it around his freaking arm so he won't be able to punch him, and then beats the shit out of him, then finishes off with some psychological damage. And basically, he's very strategic with how he fights, and he essentially makes these bullies' lives a living hell, the exact same thing that they've been doing to normal kids for the past years for the past couple of years. He acts as a hero to the weak, taking out people with smarts and strategies. This is a story of a, a kid, a scrawny kid that doesn't look like he's gonna be good at fighting, but is actually a calculating fucking psychopath, an extremely good strategist, and a very smart fighter, who really doesn't care about how he wins, but he will win. And this eventually just leads up to a fight against the revered king of the alliance, Nabek Jin, who essentially is the guy that's above all of the bullies, controlling all the all these bullies and kind of acting almost like the mafia boss. I know, it's it's crazy around here. And he's like the ultimate bad guy of the story, and it basically leads up to a fight against him. Nabek Jin is this guy. He's described as almost a god of fighting. And the metaphor for that is is this where essentially this is like one of the main characters who've built this massive tower just to try to reach the sky to fight Nabek Jin but Nabek Jin is lightning he is god he's unstoppable so the entire series is just about about, about this kid Grey who fights against these bullies and protects the weak and just acts virtuous in general um, garnering friends and finally standing against the alliance of bullies led by Nabek Jin. And it, I guess it kind of has an interesting concept, I, I guess, but it's still, it's still pretty typical and not super compelling. It really wasn't super compelling to me. It has some decent action scenes, but none of it's like realistic at all. And some moments get me high, but like like this one, that, that, that was a pretty cool moment, but it, it's honestly mostly mid, I would say. And I would only just recommend it as a time killer. It doesn't have any deep themes or or things that I really felt, like some things that really impact in my heart. It just kind of felt like, okay, I mean, it's your typical fight webtoon with a little bit of a twist on it, but that's about it. I don't feel anything else. So that's about it. I would recommend it just as a, just as a way to pass time. You know, at the airport, you're bored. Had to deal with a lot of that recently. Yeah. That's about it. It's a C tier. It's all right. It's not bad. It's just not a masterpiece. And that's about it. Have a great day, everyone. That was Rupture Rant. Goodbye. See you next time.